poverty levels are still going high. Our brothers have not turned into betting professors and they are not getting jobs to do. Then it means we are doing something that is wrong. If we are still going to remain with the NDC and the MPP and continue to listen to the same old promises, I can tell you that it will only be a matter of change, but not transformation. Uh, I greet you. I bring you greetings from the next leader of this country, Allah John Kojochua Martin. Subscribe, <laughs> We're about better work as here, can see us at the end of the day. No, maybe be then different. We're about better work as here, can see us at the end of the day. Different. And to another day, also say I fit 2024 about one day. And say I'm part of it to my MPP and I say NDC. I was saying my Ura John Kwajuche Martin Swakunya. No, no, so bad. But now, um, I come here. No, so no, so yeah, then. Aye, no, dear, dear, then. Yes, if you so say Ura no war. Um, uh, so you the bars, a bad one, man can I think a two pony and pipini and this no more dear dear disappointment with the Maya. No, it is something that beside the SCC tomorrow will mistake there. Don't know, so say anything, you need those patches near them. And since you're not from Fama or Alan Codotram, I told him about Bomagan, I found it to my pump. A friend with the number. The two political parties, the NDC and the MPP. Next year or the 7th of January 2025, they would have done 32 years. If you strongly believe that the major question confronting everyone in this country is that poverty levels are still going high, our youth, our brothers and sisters, especially our brothers have not turned into betting professors and they are not getting jobs to do, then it means we are doing something that is wrong. And here I want to quote Einstein when he said, if we continue to do the same things over and over again, we are surely going to get the same results. If we are still going to remain with the NDC and the MPP and continue to listen to the same old promises, I can tell you that it will only be a matter of change, but not transformation. This automotive uh, uh, automotive companies are assembling here. These were all policies that he himself sat down, wrote to woo these uh, uh, automotive com automobile companies into the country to be assembling here. The objective is not just to be assembling, but to be actually manufacturing the vehicles in this country. And that is why, as, as a movement for change, and as one of the plans of Mr. Lanchamante, is to make sure that we don't just go and mine the iron ore that has been discovered in the northern part of this country and export it in the raw form. No, he believes that we have to process iron together with manganese and bauxite to produce steel. Out of that steel, then we can manufacture the vehicles here. And that is why we take a serious view to the lithium deal. Because as part of our strategy, as a movement for change, is to develop the automotive uh, industry. And if you want to develop the into automotive industry, you know very well that the world is moving towards the green energy. And so, very soon, we are going to do away with fossil energy. If you are going to do away with fossil energy, it means you are going to use electric cars. And if you are using electric cars, you will need a lot of rechargeable batteries. And one of the key components of rechargeable batteries is lithium. So you don't go and get lithium and go and sell it cheap as though we are afraid to develop. And that is why we as a movement believe that it is time the country entrusts the destiny of this. Uh, I greet you. I bring you greetings from the next leader of this country, Alan John Kojo Chiamatin. <laughs> Mr. Chiamatin says I should tell the people of Tamale that the battle of 2024 will be fought and won in the northern region and under no circumstance would he lose in the northern region 
it is a battle that will be fought based on plan on policies on practical policies because where the country has gotten it got into it is no more a joke it's a serious situation that we find ourselves it's not business as usual where you wake up very early in the morning go and cast your vote and you do not see any improvement in your life we have gone beyond that and if you all agree that as a country we are facing serious challenges then we must as a matter of agency ask ourselves a fundamental question that what it is that having started this fourth republican dispensation since 1992 remember in 1993 the NDC was ushered into government they remained in power till 2001 7th january john Kufo took over left power in 2009 professor mills may his soul rest in peace took over left along the way former president john Mahama took over and left us in 2017 nanado took over and it's about leaving office so the two political parties the ndc and the mpp next year or the 7th of january 2025 they would have done 32 years if you strongly believe that the major question confronting everyone in this country is that poverty levels are still going high our youth our brothers and sisters especially our brothers have not turned into betting professors and they are not getting jobs to do then it means we are doing something that is wrong and here i want to quote einstein when he said if we continue to do the same things over and over again we are surely going to get the same results if we are still going to remain with the ndc and the mpp and continue to listen to the same old promises i can tell you that it will only be a matter of change but not transformation and i'm not sure i am not sure you are all looking for change you are looking for a change that will bring transformation into your lives a change that will see that your daughter that your son moving from being unemployed to employed and that is what we are all looking for unfortunately today we are in tamale and so i want to reduce all that mr lanchamante has been saying and relate it to the tamale economy and relate it to the politics of northern region and so that at the end of the day i don't have a problem with the good people of tamale central and tamale north retaining your mps after all they have proven to be people who are like-minded people that are very effective in what they do at the end of the day listening to the two of them the only conclusion that i, I have come to is that our constitution the make of it currently calls for a leader who is independent a leader who thinks so much about the welfare of this country because so much power has been entrusted into the hands of the president so if you get a president who is reckless i can tell you you and i will not see or find our way clear the northern economy is practically an agrarian economy here you are more into agriculture is another case and so one of the key issues that are and i'm very happy we have our revered chiefs here because you are the owners of the land that you are the eye of the people so that today i force the movement for change led by mr lanchamanti the opportunity to speak directly to you and to explain to you what we believe in we believe that as a country to deal with our unemployment situation we must invest heavily in agriculture under the current dispensation there is no way there is no way you would engage in your farming business and make profit it's absolutely impossible it is impossible because you would need to invest heavily in farming inputs in your seedlings in farm preparation and so on and so forth as we speak we are doing an interest rate of more than 30 percent if you went to bank to go and borrow as a farmer you will not have a loan less than 30 percent 
Now, what it means is that your cost of production is very high. By the time you are done with farming, it makes your foodstuffs very expensive. It becomes so expensive to the ordinary Ghanaian, who therefore is unable to patronize you. And while the person is not able to patronize your foodstuffs, you are going to run into losses. You borrowed money. You could not pay back. So what is the guarantee that next year you have the wherewithal to go back and farm? And that is the reality of the day. So Mr. Lanchamantin is saying that, yes, you want to do your 24-hour economy. We are not against it. Because the totality of an efficient administration is to lead to a 24-hour economy. So he wants to deal with this issue by first reducing interest rate to the barest minimum. Remember, you are not competing amongst yourself. If you are farming in Ghana or you are farming in Tamale, you are competing with someone farming in Japan. The person in Japan is taking a loan at a single digit. If it is not 1%, it is 2%. Imagine you producing rice and someone in Japan also producing rice. You went for loan at ADB at more than 30%. The person in Japan went for a loan at 2%. Between the two of you, who would be able to sell more? You would not be able to sell, and he would take advantage. So to be able to deal, first of all, with the nuances of this economy, tackle your issue of uh, uh, interest rate. And there is a core relationship between interest rate and inflation. When your interest rate is down, it affects your inflation. Inflation also comes down, so it affects it. Then he said we should also deal with our currency, the, the depreciation of the currency. And that he promises to bring down and also reduces a number of taxes. I was listening and my, my brother was talking about COVID tax here and there. Yet you see the greatest injustice that has been done to the people of this country is the overheaping of taxes on the poor citizens. Everyday tax, as though it's a case to be in Ghana. But the issue is, and, and uh, that is why I like my brother Mutala. Sometimes he's very frank and speaks the truth. That the ship system we have in our parliament, if we are not going to deal with it, we will not make any headway. He has an independent view. And I disagree with him on the fact that he was sent to parliament by the National Democratic Congress. He was not sent to parliament by the National Democratic Congress. The moment you are voted for, you represent the entire constituency of Tamale North. That includes CPP, Movement for Change, uh, 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 NPP, and everyone. <laughs> I, and you know, this attempt of trying to reduce, let's say, 2024 between... NBB and NDC must stop immediately. The election 2024, it is going to be about issues. And when it is about issues, it is about Alan Chamantin and the rest of the country. And that is what we are talking about. So, taxes are sent to parliament. Is that not the case? Parliamentarians are the ones that approve taxes so that we pay. As you speak, from January going, if you are paying insurance, they are going to accept that we must pay more. All right, I will see you for winning and some will run and get to drop. Now, what you say? The course for the past years are two parties, and I do a minus one. And my expectation is being new, yeah, because now it's being new, yeah, then. Eba be si bo shani di ombe omu jina sim piye swa ombe she a whole lot of promises no be make kinen swa the end of the day no. And now they see be who be violenti. Was to say, Ura Kodjoche Martin, any the best option for Ghana? Ray, now to draw a man who pay more Tamale. I want to come to him for more in a shame or too much. I was to say, I feel Tamale and then Ura and then Martin never fight a whole number. And to quite be a so quan, okay, Ura Kodjo and then Martin never win it. 2024 about when you name say a prophecy and I say on one to see it by rainy and someone there then or they are to jack so I saw my gun of one casa one casa muti deny your papa yet a two of a pa time on a swan or two of a pan and for changes in your day and my own money will be being quiet and for a money or have you never subscribe ever like over share the comment not when it be a quiet at a mammy no meaning in a idea major sign and I'm a black my crown